Etsy Shaw with Healthy Living. With our busy lives, it's not always possible to make it to the gym or to your favorite fitness class. You can get a great workout in the privacy of your own living room that combines both strength and cardio to give you the body you want. I'm taking the guesswork out of an at-home workout with this 20-minute routine that will combine both cardio conditioning and strength training. It's a well-rounded workout that will tone and tighten and get your heart pumping all at the same time. You don't need any equipment for this great workout. Just a little space and a timer. Your, your timer on your phone works just great. Here how, here's how it works. There are eight exercises. We will do them for one minute each. And we will go right into the next one with no break until the end. You can take a quick break at the end and then repeat the circuit. So go get some water, set your timer, and let's get started. All right, to start our circuit, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you eight exercises you can do. Again, we're gonna do each exercise for one minute, move right to the next one, and go through the circuit. The first exercise is a kick lunge. We're gonna stride the legs, one in front, the back heel should be lifted. We're just gonna lunge and kick right here for 30 seconds. Make sure you started your timer. And at the end of the 30 seconds, I want you to go right into that other leg. So it's a nice deep lunge. See if you can drop that back knee close to the floor. And as you kick, lift it up as high as you can. 30 seconds on that leg. Second exercise, we're gonna take our legs wide. We're gonna do a little jump squat. If you don't care to jump, you don't have to. We're gonna take our hands down, we're gonna reach up. If you don't, like I said, wanna jump, you can just come up on your toes. So we have one minute of jump squats. Sometimes it's easier for people to do one without jumping and one with the jump. That will definitely get your heart rate up. Third exercise is a push-up to a T. So we're gonna come down. Remember, you can do push-ups on your toes or on your knees. So whatever is better for you. So we're gonna start with hands a little wider than chest distance apart. Come to a push-up. We're gonna bring one hand in and we're just gonna rotate that arm up. Think of a T right here. Come back, do a push-up, bring the other hand in and rotate alternating side to side for one minute. If you start getting fatigued in the full push-ups, you can always drop down to your knees, bring that hand in, and then rotate up. This is an excellent exercise for core strength and of course for upper body. Fourth exercise, one minute, we're going to do skaters. This is a really nice power move. We're just gonna take it side to side as fast as you can. So here we go. One minute. Really push off with that glute, jump as wide as you can. Again, if you don't wanna jump, modify by just taking a big step. Fifth exercise, back down to the floor, working that upper body some more. We're going to have a seat. Fingertips are gonna to turn towards the feet for tricep dips. So one minute, we're gonna lift up. We're gonna bend those elbows as much as we can and extend up. The first few are easy, gets a little harder as you get closer to a minute, but keep going. This works the um, triceps, fun part of the arm we love. Plank to chair squat. So we're gonna start feet wide in a plank position, hands down. We're here, hands are gonna be under the shoulders. We're gonna jump in, come right here to a squat, back down and out. So it's a nice modified burpee you don't have to go all the way up. Last two exercises, back to the legs, side lunges. I want you to straddle your legs wide, get nice and low. We're gonna take it as deep as we can from side to side. Think of shoulders back, chest lifted. I don't want you to drop down. Keep it all up, take it as low as you can. Stephanie engages all the muscles in the legs. Last exercise, can't forget about our core. We want to lay on the floor. This is called a scissor sweeping. So we're going to extend the arms overhead. We're going to sweep the arms and lift one leg and back down. 
and alternating legs. Make sure you draw the navel into the spine. If it's too hard to get up very high, keep it low. You can always modify the move until you get strong enough to lift up higher. All eight exercises, one minute each. When you finish the eight, take a quick drink, go through the eight again. When you're done, you've completed a 20 minute all total body strength and cardio workout. For more information on at home workouts, or if you would like to find out about our workouts here at Ames Parks and Recreation, we have a complete line of fitness classes and a weight room and cardio room available for your use for workouts. You can contact me at 239-5353. I can find the right class for you, or you can check out all our programs online at amesparkrec.org. I'm Nancy Shaw with Healthy Living, and remember, it's never too late to get fit. Mm -hmm.